Alright, uh, let's look at the homework 6.2, problem number 8. Alright, so uh, we want to uh, find the volume of this uh, given solid here. Uh, so you have a square top and a square base. Alright, so uh, and the height is h. Let's, let's do that. Alright, so first thing I would do is I'm going to look at the side view uh, of this thing. So uh, you have, um, here is a right there and uh, here's B so side view is uh, it's going to be a, a trapezoid or maybe it's a isosceles trapezoid All right then I'm gonna put the um, uh, axis uh, in the middle uh, x-axis in, in the middle and uh, then I'm gonna put a y-axis along the, the top All right All right, so since uh, this is A, so I, I, I go go through the middle, so this is going to be uh, A over 2 there. And uh, if you um, look at this, this is a half of B, so B over 2. B uh, over 2. All right, so if you want to find the uh, equation uh, for this line right here, all right, so uh, the slope is going to be, uh, let's see, rise is uh, b over 2 minus a over 2. So um, so slope m is going to be, uh, actually, I, we can go straight to the equation. Uh, it's going to be y equals, all right, slope is uh, b over 2 minus a over 2, that would be the rise, over run would be h. So x, and the y-intercept is um, uh, a over 2. Alright, so we can simplify that. Uh, so this is going to be equal to, I'm going to just put 2 on the bottom, so it's a b minus a over 2h x uh, plus uh, a over 2. All right. All right. Then, so this is going to give you the value. So when uh, x is uh, around here, all right. So let's say x is here. Then uh, this length right here is given by this guy right here All right so uh, so each uh, cross-section is a square and uh, the and the side is actually the twice as that because you have to go from here and all the way here All right twice as that so each side I'm gonna call it uh, s at uh, x uh, is going to be equal to uh, this times that, so uh, times 2, so it's uh, multiplied by 2. You have a b minus a over h to cancel out, x plus a, right? Then, so each cross section uh, is going to be a square, so we're looking at a square like this, right? So the area of that squared uh, is going to be uh, this guy squared. So you have a b minus a over h x plus a squared. And uh, let's multiply out. So you're going to get um, right, b minus a uh, squared over h squared x squared plus 2 times uh, b minus a over h a x plus a squared. All right? It looks pretty ugly, but uh, we can take the antiderivative of that. So if you want to find the volume, uh, this is going to be you're going to have to start from 0 to h, then um, uh, a of x is just found, uh, 
b minus a squared over h squared uh, x squared plus 2 uh, b minus a over h a x plus uh, a squared and dx. All right. So this is going to be uh, so antiderivative of that. Uh, this is just a number b minus a squared and h squared is a number and then we have uh, x cubed over 3 antiderivative uh, plus uh, 2 b minus a over h a those are all constant then you have uh, x squared plus over 2 then antiderivative of a squared is a squared uh, x then you're going to go from uh, 0 to h all right so we can cancel 2 on top and 2 on the bottom all right so plug in h so you can see that uh, you have uh, h cubed and h squared so uh, h squared cancel out so you're going to get uh, b minus a squared over 3 uh, h uh, plus, right, plug in h squared, then you have h cancel out, so you have uh, uh, b minus a times a, then you have uh, h, and a plus uh, h there, a squared h, minus plug in 0, it's going to be all 0, so I'm not going to write that down. So this is going to be, uh, I'm going to pull out, so everyone seems to have uh, H there. And uh, so I'm going to pull H out. And also I don't want to see fractions, so I'm going to pull out the one third out. So we take care of that. And then you, you would have to multiply by 3 here and a 3 there. All right? so you're going to get this. All right, so multiply out, so you have a b squared minus 2ab plus a squared uh, plus 3ab uh, minus 3a squared uh, plus 3a squared. All right. So you can cancel uh, negative 3a squared, positive 3a squared, and we can combine these two to get uh, this. Uh, we get uh, h over 3, and I'll put uh, a squared first, so to, to get that. And then you would have uh, these two, uh, a, b. So plus uh, a, b, so we took care of that. And then you have a plus b squared. All right, so let's type it in. So we got uh, h over 3. Then you would have uh, a squared. Uh, plus a b plus b squared all right so we got that uh, what happens if uh, a is equal to b so you have a a square and you have another a square and another a square so it's going to be 3 a square times say h over 3 so it, it's going to be uh, a squared uh, h and uh, we get, uh, so if it's a equals b, we get, uh, let's see, a uh, rectangular solid, I would say. All right, hopefully, oh, actually, I didn't type it in correctly. So this is uh, a squared uh, h. All right, and uh, then if uh, if a is equal to zero, so this is zero, that's zero, so you have uh, h b squared over three. So you have h b squared. Oh, it's not what I here. H uh, b squared over three. Uh, squared over three. All right. Then if a is equal to zero, then that's going to be a square pyramid, right? 
So uh, let's check the answer. All right, let's see. Submit for testing. Whoops, uh, I uh, messed it up. So it says in terms of B and H, so this is going to be B squared H. I, I have to check again. All right, I came back and looks like uh, we got this one correctly. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.